Crawford and I'm standing in front of the Birdwood High School War Memorial. Each year Birdwood High holds an Anzac Day assembly to commemorate the fallen. The school also has a program called Connecting Spirits. They go and commemorate the fallen at their foreign graves. It also encourages the younger generations to talk to the older generations. This year they are commemorating the findings of the Florn brothers and their remains were found at the battlefield of Flamel. What if the veterans couldn't tell the horrors of the war? What if the messages of war wasn't passed on? What if the war started again? Will it be too late? I'm Annabella Lawson and I'm here with Richard Lichtenstein. And for our first top story, we have an exclusive. World War III has broken out. What an honour this will be for all the soldiers who go out and fight. Thank you, Anna. It's good to see all the soldiers pumped and ready to go to war. All the men and women are excited to be fighting for our country. What a life-changing experience it will be for all of them. And all the good that these changes will bring. I think it's just marvellous and something we will probably take to the end of our lives. We need to speak to our elders, those who have experienced these horrors of war, and those who lost friends and killed without regret because they were made to. We need to learn from past mistakes so the horrors don't repeat themselves. If we never wish for these things to happen, we need to talk to our elders so the message stick isn't lost. We need to ask them about the war, what life was like before and after the war. And if they spontaneously start talking about the war, give them the time of day. So long ago Where I came to see that you would really leave And although that time was so long ago I still feel the pain Cause I remember this time it taught me what it was to really grieve In my jacket, my hat, my scarf, my mountains of clothes I still felt the cold, the cold that you feel When you wave your son off to war at only 18 years old My wave, I waved a thousand times Not knowing quite what it meant And the tears rolled down my cold, cold face The lady beside a handkerchief to me then And I never quite knew, no I never quite knew This would be my last sight of you